Taiwan has banned the use of disposable plastic cups, with cities and counties introducing the ban at different times over the last two years. On Sunday, Jingmen County joined the ban, making it the last administrative region in the country to do so. Drink shops around the nation are now offering a discount of at least 5 NT to customers who bring their own cups. But some have argued it's inconvenient to carry a cup around. One solution, borrowing a returnable cup from a shop and returning it later after use. However, some argue this is not the most hygienic way of doing things. Whatever customers choose to do in the future, with nearly 800 million plastic cups out of the picture annually, things are looking much better for the environment. Rich black tea is poured between jugs and then poured over ice to chill, making a cool, refreshing beverage. September has arrived, but the weather is still very hot, and people want ice-cold drinks in hand while walking the streets. Starting September, use of disposable plastic cups is banned across Taiwan. Beverage shops can only provide paper cups or allow customers to use their own cups with a discount. Jinmen County was the final holdout, but it too is now on board with the ban, meaning that plastic cups will soon be a thing of the past in the entire nation. The Environment Ministry began promoting the measure two years ago before its upgrade to ministerial level. Now in full effect, the ban applies to all businesses that serve beverages. We've already reduced plastic cup usage by 12 million cups since we adopted the measure. Stacked up, that's the equivalent of 3,900 Taipei 101 buildings in height. Coinciding with that, we'll see a 10 to 20 percent increase in the use of paper cups or cups brought by customers. We can cut out at least 790 million plastic cups a year. About 17 percent of the public use their own cups for purchased beverages. With discounts of 5 NT or more, environment officials hope customers will be encouraged to bring their own reusable cups with them to shops. Nearly 20 percent of the public have already developed the habit of doing so, carrying cups with them in their bags. The discount part is very helpful because you feel that you can save money. If you borrow a returnable cup, you can keep it for a few days. The disadvantage is that it has to be returned through the same channel. Different systems may use different returnable cups. I use returnable cups about 5 out of 10 times. I've never used a store's returnable cup. I'm worried that it wouldn't be cleaned thoroughly since I'm not the one washing it. Most people would agree with the environmental benefits of reusable cups, but carrying them everywhere can be a hassle. Returnable cups are a nice alternative, but come with concerns about hygiene and the inconvenience of returning them.